Hey guys, in this video I am going to take a look at the um, Android 2.2.2 update for the Dell Streak, um, which includes a couple of um, enhancements to the um, Stage UI from Dell. Um, so I am currently in the um, Stage UI home launcher at the moment. And as you might be able to notice, if you have used any of the um, previous Stage UIs, it looks a bit different. Um, so this is the um, home widget, I believe it's called. Um, it displays the redder and it has, um, you know, nine different icons next to it. And I believe you can also scroll up and down them. Um, in the um, in the last um, stage UI included with 2.2, you weren't able to choose the icons that were displayed there. Um, you could only choose um, the location for the redder. However, in this um, new update, you can select your current location. Uh, I'll just select use current location. Um, and you can also set if you want it degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit. I like Celsius. And you can actually choose what icons you want to um, be there now. So um, if I click add, I might want um, Angry Birds Rio for example. And now if I confirm that and go back, um, Angry Birds Rio will be at the top and the others will just be at a random applications unless I set them all. Um, and let's take a look at a couple of these um, other widgets or stage UI widgets I should say. They have one here for books and it has a few different free books here. Um, I haven't really um, had a good look at any of them. So let's take a look at dots and boxes. What will happen if I do this? Oh, it opens it up in the web browser. I'm not sure if you have to sign up to anything or it seems to be an Amazon um, ebook by the looks of it. Um, though anyhow, it doesn't really matter because Amazon um, isn't in Australia, so either way, I can't really um, use the books. Um, and we have an emails widget. And what's this? Oh yeah, this is the contact widget. I don't really have many contacts because I use it as a tablet, not a mobile. Uh, we have a music widget. It displays the album work if, you know, the music has any and it obviously links you to the music player. I won't play any of it since it's copyright or copy protected. Um, uh, we have a news widget. So let's see if they have any default um, feeds. Manage news sources ad feed. So yeah, you need to um, find, you know, RSS feeds you like and put them there. Um, I haven't done that yet. And we have a photo widget which looks alright. It has a couple of photos and a video there. Uh, they were just um, test photos and videos etc which I don't think I ended up uploading. So as you can see there's stage widgets. Um, so I have already showed you books, contacts, email, I showed you home large. Uh, this is the home small widget, which doesn't look that great. You know, you click on it and drag it down to delete it. And what else do we have here? I showed you music, news, photos. We have a tune-in radio um, widget from Dell Streak. Because um, they include tune-in radio, you can't get rid of it if you don't want it. Um... What else do we have? We have social, uh, so you can obviously make that, you know, for Twitter or Facebook. Um, I didn't really use that. Um, you know, I tried it out. I didn't like the previous one that much. Oops. Okay, what else have we got? We have video. Um, I'm not sure where it gets the videos from. New releases. It doesn't do anything. That may or may not be linked to Amazon like the um, books widget. I'm not completely sure. And we have a web widget. Um, I don't see the point of it. Oh yeah, it's more of a bookmark type widget. Which, you know, that looks okay. Um, whoops. So yeah, you know, I quite like the update, you know, and it's also, um, you can see the different pages at the top there, I like the design of that. Um, however, the one problem I've had is with um, Uvu, they include this um, program called Uvu, 
and from what I understand is it's like Skype apparently. Um, however, the problem I have is it won't, um, it just won't, you know, close. It keeps, you know, coming into the notifications and telling you to sign out. Um, apparently, if you um, download the latest version of Uvu, then it will, you won't have this problem. Though, you know, I, I don't want it on my device in the first place, so I'm a bit annoyed with that. And they've included some new crapware. Um, so, as you can see, you scroll sideways from their menu. You can't really customise the look of the menu, unfortunately. You have AccuWeather.com, which looks slightly different to the old version, though, you know, it's pretty much still a useless application. Uh, and what else is crapware? Or oh, Arcade by Congregate. Um... I haven't really used this, though, you know, it's just crapware bundled with, um, you know, the um, latest still update. I'm not sure whether or not the games are free, though. They don't really appeal to me that much. Uh, and what else do we have here? Backup and Restore, that was with, um, you know, the last um, Android 2.2. Um... Car home, this is new to the 2.2.2 update. Please exercise caution when using this application and do not manipulate your device while driving. Continue. I'm not sure this might use um, the Google navigation or something like that. So let's see what happens when I do navigate. Show location settings, OK, because GPS is enabled. So use GPS satellites, I will just enable that. Go back. Let's go to navigate. Um, let's try speaking the destination. Brisbane. And let's see if that works. Navigate to Brisbane. Go. And yep, that seems to have worked. No, oh, it's not a bad application actually. Um, I haven't looked at the um, new Google navigation application, though this looks pretty nice. Um, you know, I use my iPhone as a mobile phone, primarily, though, um, you know, there isn't really a good free iPhone equivalent that I've heard of. You know, I think they have one for $99 on the market, though who wants to pay for things like that? Um, so let's get out of this, if it will let me, or oh, exit car mode, sorry. So that is actually um, a good part of the update, I quite like that, even though I don't really use it. Oh, we have Copilot Live, I believe that's the paid version, and you know, it's, I'm pretty sure um, Dell put it on there, I don't think it's a part of, you know, the Android OS, etc. Um, anything else here they put on, I'm just quickly going through. I think that was pretty much everything they put on, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, that's pretty much it really, I'm not sure if there was anything else I can show you. Um, it would of course have everything you expect from the new Android 2.2.2 update. Though the main difference with this update is um, it's also got the new um, Dell Stage UI and they've included a bit, you know, a bit more crapware. Though the car mode um, application is you know, pretty nice, I quite like it. And it is an improvement over the last um, Stage UI. The truth is I'm still going to use Go Launcher X, though they have definitely made improvements, which is um, nice to see. And it's also nice that um, they are still um, updating the device, even though it's probably been out for 12 months now. And I will be really pleased if they release an update for Android um, you know, 2.3 or 3.0, whichever one they choose in the future. Thanks for watching.